In this video we're going to look at mixture analysis using TGA. So here's the problem statement. An aqueous solution of calcium, strontium and barium ions is treated with oxalic acid, resulting in the formation of a precipitate. The precipitate cons consists of calcium oxalate monohydrate, strontium oxalate monohydrate and barium oxalate monohydrate. And then the precipitate is analysed using TGA. And we've got the TGA trace shown here. So we can see it decomposing in different steps and stages. Now, the first loss is the dehydration, so we're losing water. And M here represents calcium, strontium and barium. So we've sort of got that in one step that it looks like here. So we're just using M to say all three of these metals are undergoing this dehydration and we're getting this loss of water. The next stage is that these oxalates are losing CO to become carbonates and then at around 780 degrees C we've got calcium carbonate uh, losing CO2 to become calcium oxide and then um, just above a thousand degrees we've got the strontium carbonate forming strontium oxide and CO2. Now the trace doesn't go high enough unfortunately for us to see the barium carbonate being decomposed uh, because that happens at a higher temperature above 1100 degrees. Okay, and we've only got data up to 1100 degrees. So if we just look at the derivative for a moment, so we've got the derivative of the curve with respect to temperature and we can see actually that the, uh, the, the water is lost in three separate stages, uh, three different temperatures and so although that looks like one step if we look at the derivative we can see that there's three distinct events happening so that suggests that the calcium strontium and barium are losing their water at different stages that the oxalates of those metals uh, are losing the water at different stages uh, whereas uh, we've got this very sharp peak here suggesting that all three oxalates are losing their carbon monoxide in one stage so that is a, a, an application of looking at the derivative curve just to sort of really tease out uh, nuanced details of the thermal decomposition of our material. Now the TGA results show that 1.96 grams of CO2 were lost around 780, 0 0.73 grams of CO2 were lost around 1030 degrees and 4.05 grams of CO were lost around 450 degrees and we need to calculate now the mass of calcium strontium and barium in the precipitate that was formed in our original experiment. So the amount of CO2 lost at 780 is mass of molecular weight. We've got 1.96 grams and the molecular weight of CO2 is 44 grams per mole. So we have 0 0.04455 moles of that material. Now, based on the decomposition equation, the CO2 to calcium is 1 to 1. So the amount of calcium is also 0 0.04455 moles. So we can work out the mass by multiplying amount by relative atomic mass for the calcium. And that shows that we have 1.79 grams of calcium uh, in that original precipitate. Now we can repeat this process for the strontium uh, because we've got CO2 being lost at 1030 degrees that's linked to the decomposition of the strontium. So we see that we've got 0 0.01659 moles of CO2 being lost. And again, that is in a one-to-one -one stoichiometry with the strontium. So the amount of strontium is also 0 0.01659. If we multiply the amount by the relative atomic mass of strontium, we get 1.45 grams of strontium in the original precipitate. And then we need to think about the barium, but we haven't got the decomposition of the barium carbonate on its own, so we're going to have to take a different approach. Now we're going to look at the CO lost at 450 degrees, which again is mass of molecular weight, so the 4.05 grams of CO divided by the 28 grams per mole molecular weight for CO and we can see that we've got 0 
moles. Now at this stage uh, we've got a one-to-one -one ratio between CO and the metal or that or rather it's a one-to-one -one ratio between carbon monoxide and all three of those metals. So this number here is telling us the total amount of the metals in the precipitate. So to work out the amount of barium we need this first number subtract 0 0.04455 because from an earlier calculation we know that's the amount of calcium and then we subtract 0 0.01659 because again from an earlier calculation we know that that is the amount of strontium. So overall that gives us 0 0.0835 moles of barium in the precipitate and the mass can be calculated by multiplying by the relative atomic mass of barium and that gives us 11.46 grams of barium in the original precipitate. So that's been a video about mixture analysis using TGA.